What's going on everybody? We're back with another video and today we're gonna to be doing a mid drop fade. So to start this fade, we're gonna be using our soft trimmers to put in our initial skin line. My client doesn't want his C cups, so we're gonna start a little bit higher in the front and then we drop it down as we go around back. Which leads us to our first guard, which is the three, and we're gonna use this just to clear bulk and to set our top, top guideline. We're going pretty soft and flicking up as we get into the top there. And we're gonna bring this all the way around following our initial skin line. So now it's time to put our second guide in and that's with the one and a half guard closed. We're gonna do this pretty much right in between the three and the skin line that we put in before. After we have the one and a half all the way around, we're gonna open it and then we're pretty much just flicking with the one and a half guard open into that three that we put in and it pretty much should blend. And if you need to, you can always use the thinning shears over comb to finish the blending. After that one and a half is all blended into that three, we're gonna use our half guard closed. We're gonna put a small section about the size of a finger following along that initial skin line that we put in in the beginning. After we have that initial closed half guard, we're just gonna do just like we did with the one and a half guide. We're gonna open up this half guard. We're gonna flick into that one and a half guard that we put in prior. And this should blend in pretty easily if you're flicking. And like I said before, if you need to, you can always take thinning shears, over comb, and then just tap it a little bit in any little dark spots that you see. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do here right where the one and a half guard is going into the three, I'm going with thinning shears over my taper comb and I'm using the thicker side of the taper comb to blend into the top, the longer lengths. And then on the shorter lengths, when we use the half guard, I'm gonna just flip the comb and we're gonna use the small side. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. And if you notice, I'm using the, obviously the small side of the taper comb here. And every time I'm using a thinning shear, I only open close a couple times and then I pull everything back and we look at the fade again. It's real easy, especially when you're detailing a fade, to put a hole in the fade and make a light spot. And those you really can't fix. So you wanna make sure that you're only taking off a little bit, then you look at everything, make sure the dark spot that you're aiming for is gone, and then you can move on. And if you haven't already, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at KyleTheBarberNJ if you're interested in more content just like this. So now we're only left with one line and that is the initial skin line that we put in with the trimmer. And because it is a soft trimmer, the clippers, because they are zero gap, they should be able to get that line completely out. That's why I recommend always having a soft trimmer, like I said before. And pretty much we're starting closed with the blade all the way closed, and then we're gonna open it up little by little and work our way into that half guard closed that we put in before. Like I said, we're gonna wanna use our corners as much as we can here. And you don't have to worry too, too much about putting holes in the fade. If you have your blade all the way open and you're using your corners, you can go pretty high up there as long as your clipper is tilted a certain way. Um, and that's pretty much gonna help get rid of any little dark spots that we see there. for the satisfying part we're going to get rid of all the hair underneath that we didn't take off and i only did this for the video usually i end up taking all of this off when i do the initial skin guideline 
but I felt like it would look kind of cool. So here we are just getting rid of this. And then after this, it's going to be the foil shaver. So now we are on to the final step of the foil shaver. This is going to complete our fade. Every skin fade needs to use the foil shaver. If you don't use it, then it's not a skin fade unless your client gets irritated and doesn't want you to use it. This is the final step of a skin fade. Now we're just finalizing the fade and the whole entire haircut and that's with using the razor on the vertical bar and on the C cups. And then after this I'm doing some enhancements. My client wanted a little bit fuller of a beard, maybe a little bit darker of a lineup on that C cup that doesn't necessarily come naturally and that's totally fine. The enhancements makes it look better and just let me know what you think. But if you did enjoy this video I'd really appreciate it if you left a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.